Hey guys, it's Amy and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back with a new DIY and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own miniature tiled table. Now I know that these were really popular a little while back and I'm not sure if they're still popular now, but let's just go along and make one anyway. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is to take your doll and I have her here in a sitting position. That way I can measure the height, length, and width of the table that I want while the doll is sitting down. So my tabletop is 15 centimeters by 4.5 centimeters. The right side of my table is 12 centimeters by 4.5 centimeters. And the left side of my table is also 12 centimeters by 4.5 centimeters. And I have 12 pieces of each side. And now it's time to glue all of the pieces together, but what I like to do is split it halfway and then glue them together like this. That way the images are on the inside and it will be easier to paint. With these three finished pieces, we're now going to paint them white. So while that is drying, I went ahead and started on the tiles. And out of paperboard, I cut out pieces that are one centimeter by one centimeter along with pieces that are one centimeter by half a centimeter. Next, I'm going to mix some colors together to try and get a nice beige color for my tiles, but you can paint your tiles any color that you want. So I'm finally finished with painting all of my tiles, which took me about five hours in total. So in addition to giving yourself lots of time to do this project, I would also recommend that you have some tiles done and ready. That way you can lay them out on the sides like I've shown here, and you can just multiply and add to get the exact number of tiles that you need. And this is just to avoid spending more time making extra tiles that you might not end up using anyway. But before gluing them down, I cut out some strips of paper, erase the pencil lines, and then I'm going to glue them on the edges to clean them up. And now it is finally time to glue down all of the tiles, but once again I do like to lay them all out before I glue them down, just so that I can get the spacing correct, except for these four corners. I like having these so that I can see how much space in between them I have to work with. Next, it's time to cover all of them in Mod Podge or clear drying glue. Once the pieces are dry, it is now time to assemble the table.
And once it is done drying, you can flip it over and now you have a beautiful tile table for your doll to sit or stand at. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!